heck was that for? Your channel's dead. You need to upload new videos. You serious? I'll get to that. Now! All right, that's it. Come on. Just ran out of luck, pal. Yeah, yeah now we're talking. What did you want me to make anyway? I mean, a fuss collection would be nice. Alright. Hello friends, family, enemies, Jirians. Today we have a video that is potentially going to end my life. That's right, the long-awaited Sonic plush collection video. God, I this is ridiculous. I'm going to be using both bunks of my bed to display said plushes, and if we still run out of space, that will be very inconvenient, so... Let's hope that um, uh, this is uh, this is enough enough space. But before we begin, I'd like to say that all the plushes in this video will be strictly Sonic the Hedgehog plushes, so we will be leaving out characters such as, you know, like the Minecraft and all the other craziness. They won't be in this video. Uh, if you guys want to see another collection video with everything in it in the future, just let me know. Another thing is that there will be plushes hidden from this collection video due to spoilers and stuff like that. Because the main reason I was avoiding doing this video is because I have a bunch of plushes that I haven't been able to show yet. Like, because they're supposed to be like secret characters and stuff like that. So I wanted to wait until I had them all ready or like in the show so I could show them. But people are doing plush collection videos like once every five months so i was like okay forget it i'm just gonna do one then one more side note for the people unfamiliar with my channel you will see some characters that have like stuff on them like custom ish like cloth and tape and stuff like that so people fans of my channel are aware of that but if you're not that would be kind of jarring so just be prepared for that but without further ado let's begin this video that took me hours to set up because i'm clifford the big red dog in a small room also since this video was so painful you should uh probably subscribe god it's so hot bro it just became spring and it feels like summer i'm going to pass out in this mother so beginning we're gonna first up we have a mint condition jasper sonic ordered out of respect for my grandfather who passed away who was the first person who um gave me a jasper sonic all those years ago so without him a lot of this legacy wouldn't have started so yeah He's, he sits on my wall, untouched. Next up, we have another Jazzwares Sonic. This one is used for a project I am working on. Next up, we have another Jazzwares Sonic. This is liquor from the series Pineapples and Liquor, Double Dummies. Jesus Christ, we need to wash his gloves. Next up, we have another Jazzwares Sonic, who was actually a gift from Liquor himself. Shout out to him, who bought this pineapple when we lost the original pineapple plush that we used for him. Next up, we have another Jazzware Sonic, and this is the one that we use in video. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have another... <laughs> now, if you're not a fan of my channel, I haven't seen this character before, this is probably heartbreaking and very disturbing. Well, to give you some history real quick, this is a super old Jazzware Sonic Plus that I did not take care of, and he pretty much suffered. But I ended up turning that dying Sonic Plus into a character for my show, so that's why he looks the way he does. Jesus. <laughs> But if you are a fan of the channel, Scar. We're not off to a great start with six Jazzwares Sonics. Next off, we have a gigantic 
Jazzwares Classic Sonic. Very cool. I always wanted this guy for a while. And going alongside him, we have a very small classic Jazzwares Sonic. Very cute. A gift from Kodo. Thank you, Kodo. A dirty first release Jazzwares Mini Sonic. Pretty cool. I like how his smile looks on the first release. Again, this one was dirty. I got him dirty. I cleaned him about twice, and he still needs another bath, but this guy is cool, man. Continuing to talk about classic Sonics, this is... Um, the, the Collector's Edition Tomy Sonic, otherwise known as TG in my series. That's why he wears the blue thing. Oh, God. And here's the old one. Yeah, dying. G oh, yeah. I'm just going to throw this out there. Like, a lot of the plushies with, like, the tape and stuff on them is from, like, six years ago. So, me now, I wouldn't recommend that you put tape and stuff on your plushes unless it's, like, a plush that's already, like, dying and decrepit. Because over time, it's like the plush, the tape will ruin the plush and, you know, just, it's not, it's not wise to do that, so. But I'm showing it because it's a piece of history. And we have more doubles. Here we are, my very first 25th anniversary uh, Classic Sonic. Love this guy. Another 25th anniversary Classic Sonic, which is one that I'm giving away. Here we have another 25th anniversary Classic Sonic, which was a gift from Jackie. Thank you, buddy. And here we have a big Tomy Classic Sonic otherwise known as Big Classic in my series. And another Big Classic, um, Tomy Sonic. Yeah, honestly don't remember how I got this one. Continuing the Classic Sonics, we have a Talking Cow Toy Sonic, which was a gift from Jackie. Once again, thank you, Jackie. And here is the normal non-talking variant of Cow Toy Sonic. Here is the UK Tomy Sonic from the 90s, I believe. Very funny looking plush. The very nice Jumbo 90s Sega Sonic plush. This guy is very freaking awesome. He's probably one of my favorite class Sonic plushes ever, and I still need to get the tails. Very, very nice. And speaking of very nice, Twix Sonic, one of the very first Sonic plushes ever created. Very cool, man. Very cool. I got him for a great price as well. That's why he's not like super clean. I cleaned him. He was originally much dirtier and smelled like fish. Ah! So that was gross, but for the price I got him, not complaining at all. Holy Grail. Next to him, we'll have his son, Stringy Sonic, the rubber shoe variant. I got the rubber shoe variant because honestly, I don't know. I think he's cool. The clickety clackety is pretty fun. Forgot to show that he's tagged. Yes, he's tagged. Another very adorable Sonic is Suction Cup Sonic, who is also tagged. I love that freaking tag. You can uh, kind of tell when the collector side of me showed up and we started taking better care of uh, the toys. We have a rare Taiwan bootleg Sonic. Um, I really like this guy for some reason. His mohawk is really fun and his suction cups are on the back of his hand, so it's very weird. So if you wanted to hang him up, he kind of looks like Jesus. Next up, we got the Burger King Denny Sonic. Sonic Underground Sonic. Very cool. Pretty sure it was Burger King. How am I going to say Denny's and then Burger King? How stupid do you have disregarding my stupidity? We have PMS Sonic. This one's really funny, especially mine, because bro is not smiling. He ain't having it, bro. And here we have a... I actually don't remember what brand made this Sonic, but I know he's from uh, the UK, I think. I'm selling, but this guy's really nice. I, I call him Jam Sonic. Sonic Jam. A gift from Kodo. Thank you, Kodo. We have one of the stupidest looking Sonic plushes in history, but I love him to death, Dankin Sonic. Man is actually the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen in my life, but I love him to death. He's so stupid. Did I mention he's stupid? And ending the classic Sonics, we have a super cool prototype Tomy Sonic plush, which I called Beta in my series, which thank God I took pretty decent care of him for the time I got him. Um, originally, of course, his stuff was stitched together, but I actually didn't unstitch that. My neighbors attacked my stuff one day and ripped it in half, so that's unfortunate. But I do need to wash them again as the gloves are showing some dirt. But this guy's really nice. I haven't seen him in a while. Very cool. And it's cool how the tag is like kind of the wrong you. Very cool, dude. Very cool. Here we have an emoji Sonic. I gotten a lot. Uh, except we have a Boom Sonic who's wearing the get up because series and stuff. We got another deluxe Boom Sonic. This one's old as you can t older as you can tell. Uh, I love the I love the deluxe 15 inch Sonic Boom plush so much. Like he's actually one of my favorite plushes, if not my favorite of all time. I forgot to mention that while holding the other one, but I really love these guys, man. But yeah, this is an older one. And he'd been clearly beaten. Here we have the main Boom Sonic I use for my videos. That's why he's wearing the uh, headband and cape that everyone loves to make jokes about. Here we have another Boom Sonic, which is currently being sold. Yeah, and there is one more Boom Sonic that we call Squash, who looks absolutely atrocious because he's the oldest one who has suffered absolute hell, but 
I can't get him right now. So here's an image of how hideous he is now. And yes. And that's five gosh dang Boom Sonics. That is insane. So Boom Sonic is a very special plus to me because he was also a gift from my grandfather on Christmas. Which I got him with the Jazzers Tales. Anyways, next up we have my very first Tommy Sonic, the Six Finger. Yeah, very cool. Super awesome. He's actually a prototype, believe it or not. So again, it's good that I didn't absolutely destroy this guy when I got him at the time. So I love this freaking Sonic push so much. Next, we have another Tommy Sonic, which is being treated. Here we have the very first hybrid Sonic concept who has died, because you can see his eyebrow busted. Tragic. Who is a Jazzwares Tommy Sonic fusion? Very cool. And here we have a surprise hybrid Sonic made by Jackie Chan the Plushy Man, which is much more well put together because he's much better at stitching than I am. And yeah, I didn't expect this. He just sent it to me one day after seeing my concept, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Freaking amazing. And lastly for the Tommy Sonics, which is probably my favorite one, other than the factory, is Idle Sonic. This is a Sonic that will be used to uh, for videos that won't be fighting, he'll just be talking and standing around. Which again, was conceptualized by me, put together by Jackie. So freaking nice. So freaking cool. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna try not to say as much because the video, I don't want it to be 900 minutes long. Next up, we got Nigel, a very hideous Sonic bootleg. Mini Tommy Sonic. Rat Sonic. Right. Rat Sonic before Ketamine. Kelly Toy Sonic. A 14 inch Boom Sonic I should have shown earlier, which we have dressed up to call the Doctor. Very funny. A Toy Network Sonic I've gotten a lot. Another funnier looking Toy Network Sonic. The very freaking wicked 14 inch Sonic Adventure release Toy Network Sonic. Another Toy Network Sonic customized into Sonic.exe by Jackie Chan the Plushy Man. Did I mention that guy's a goat? Yes, I hate EXE just as much as the next guy. He's, just, he's, I mean, he's for video. The best Toy Network Sonic of them all, and one of the best Sonic plushes I own, in my opinion, the gigantic Fluffy McFloof Toy Network Sonic. Very kind of rare, but this guy's just so freaking nice. You almost never see him. No one ever talks about him. He's just, he's so floofy. He's so floofy. Nanco Chronic. GE Sonic, new release. GEX Sonic, which I believe is an older release because he's a darker shade of blue for some reason. Can't really tell from here, but he is. GE 14 inch Sonic. Newcomers beware. GE Android Sonic. Another GE Android Sonic. This time put together by Jackie once again. Holy cow. Phantom Android. This guy is dying. And for once again, for newcomers, you're probably vomiting. But the history of this plush is that he once again, he was a super old dying GE Sonic I had whose arms, you can tell, were literally falling apart. So I took it upon myself to uh, kind of do something with his dying body, which was create this mon monsterific form. <laughs> he does not stand the test of time, that's for sure. Well, I still love Phantom Android, don't get me wrong, fans, but Jesus. And here's Phantom Android, but doesn't look like he came out the dumpster two days ago. Very freaking sick, and can you guess who did this? Hmm, take a wild guess. I'm about to cry, dude. The Sonics have almost taken up the entire bed themselves, dude. I, oh my god. This gigantic GE Sonic who came with this watch from who I bought it from. You know who you are. You're cool. Korean Sonic, huh? Joy Polis Sonic. Super underrated Sonic plush. Earlier release Joy Polis Sonic. Also tagged. The classic release Joy Polis Sonic. I also didn't know he was smaller than the regular release, so that's awesome. Here we got the Target Sonic, known as Huge Sonic in my stuff. The Target Sonic, but with the Huge Sonic getup from my series and stuff. And your OnlyFans girlfriend, Sine Sonic, the Hedgehog. Dang it, bro, the Sonics really took the entire bed on their own. Yikes. Kind of predicted this, so the last few are gonna go down here. Which are an old Super Sonic, which was a gift. Jesus. Once again, these gloves. Another Super Sonic. Which one's this one's more new? Another Super Sonic, which came in a lot, who's doing the rock face. Yes, even he's confused why he's here. Mustard. Tommy Classic Super Sonic. I love this guy. And lastly, Sonic the Fighter Super Sonic. So yeah, that is all the Sonics. We I'm just kidding, we gotta talk about this. Sonic the Fighter Super Sonic is probably the most expensive plush I own and probably the most valuable. Very crazy and insane that I even have one. But to be honest, Buying this guy was one of the worst financial decisions I've ever made in my entire career. While for the price I got him was technically a good deal, quotation marks, it was still way above the margin that I've ever paid for a stuffed animal, and I highly regret it. He's a super cool plush, don't get me wrong, but just not vibing with that. So, you guys won't see this guy next time I make a collection video, but he is worth having his own spotlight. And if you want to know how much money I suffered on this guy, then fine, we'll leave it all out there. 
Sonic the Fighter Supersonic usually goes for around two grand. I paid one grand, which tax bumped that sucker up to 1.3 grand. Lord have mercy. And again, little old me was doing the heat of the moment, thinking I could tank that bill and it'll be all right, but I regret it. So I'm doing something. I'm doing something about it. Don't worry. Look, you're more real when you show your failures than your successes. Very cool plush. All right, so that's it with the Sonics. That was probably 900 minutes long. <laughs> So now with the Sonic out the way, we gotta transition to the top bunk already. <gasps> I'm sweating bullets, man. First one, we got Jasper's Tales, the one I use in my videos. Yay! We have another Jasper's Tales, which this one is an earlier release. As you can tell from these shoes. And the tag. And the 20th anniversary. Mini Jasper's Tales. Tail Super! Gift from Jackie. A very hideous Jasper's Club. Jazz with GE Classic Tales. We call him Crying Cat Tales, cause <coughs> a good looking GE Classic Tales, gift from Jackie, and GE Sonic X Tales. Yeah. Tommy Classic Tales. Tommy Classic Tales. Tommy Classic Tales. Tommy Classic Tales. Okay, I should stop. These are 25th anniversary Tommy Classic Tales plushes, and <sighs> there's a reason why there's freaking four of them. But to be honest, I think I'm tired of waffling about the lore and where these plushes came from. This video is going to take 900 years, so I'm about to just stop doing that. But the tagged one is not for me. Tell me Modern Tales. Forgot to shoot his decrepit Jirian earlier. This is Stunt Double Tales, otherwise known as Tangerine. That's why he looks so grim. <laughs> Tell me Classic Tales. The big one. Otherwise known as Miles in my series. That's why he's wearing the little stupid blue cuffs. PMS Tales, otherwise known as Jimmy Neutron. Mick Forehead. Can't buy. Mioi Mioi. Suction Cup Tails, one of the cutest Tails plushes I've ever seen in my gosh dang life, also tagged. Sonic the Fighter's Tails, this guy's really freaking nice. His shade of orange is gosh dang perfect. I really love this guy. Cal Toy Tails, the one that looks like a squirrel from the you know, Adventures of Sonic and all that. American Tails. Kelly Toy Tails. Toy Factory Tails. Toy Factory Tails, but better. Rat Tails. Rat Tails Roadkill Variant. Toy Network Tales, and lastly, Sine Tales. I didn't even think I had that many Tales plushes, dude. Dang. Yes, dang it. I forgot this super old Super Sonic to put in the list earlier. My bad. But yeah, he's the very first Super Sonic. That's why he's Super Noodle. French fries. I'm for Nugget Knuckles. First up, we got Tomy 25th Anniversary Knuckles. Coming up next, we got Tomy 25th Anniversary Knuckles. And after that, we got Tomy 25th Anniversary Knuckles. Then we got Collector's Edition Knuckles. Classic. Another classic Collector's Edition. PMS Knuckles. Very cool Knuckles plush. I love how big his fists are. A GE Classic Knuckles, customized to be modern. Thanks, Jackie. Suction Cup Knux! My favorite Knuckles plush. Well, he's up there. Very high up there. Kelly Toy Knuckles. Toy Network Knuckles. Should've put this guy with the classics earlier. Denny's Knuckles. Friggin' Sega Prize Knuckles Plastic Eye Variant. I don't really know the name of this game. Stupid Brain Dead 360 Head Freak Adventure Knuckles Bootleg or something. Kid Galaxy, I believe is the name. Speaking of freaks, Rat Knuckles. He's got fingers! And ironically, no knuckles. How ridiculous. Gosh Knuckles. Yes, gosh. The resection some of these. These fat knuckles are blocking the other ones. Toy Factory Knuckles, otherwise known as Apple. Tommy Knuckles. Big Tommy Knuckles. Sonic X GE Frogodite. Korean Knuckles. Baby Sine Knuckles. And lastly, your OnlyFans side chick, Sine Knuckles. Yeah, the Knuckles collection is kind of wild. And again, that's almost two bids already. Oh boy. And I sold and forgot huge Knuckles. So I'm just gonna put him right here. Oh, that worked out a lot easier than I thought it would. I thought I was gonna fall and break my neck on camera. And I also just found this gift, Boom Sonic, from Supersonic Freddy, who is like a fat mascot, Boom Sonic. So thank you, buddy. Stick him right here. That'll be good. And I forgot this Supersonic, because of course I did. Kelly Toy Supersonic. Freak. <laughs> anyway, on to Shadow. <laughs> GE Shadow the Hedgehog. Customized GE Shadow the Hedgehog by Jackie Chan the Plushie Man. Another customized GE Shadow the Hedgehog by Jackie Chan the Plushie Man. 
GE Shadow the Hedgehog, but he should have been thrown in the trash seven years. Okay, you know what? To be honest. Dang it. The old GE Super Shadow. The new GE Super Shadow. Man, he looks good. And a brand new GE Super Shadow who is still tagged. Which, you can already guess this is going to go someone else. Nanko Shad Garbage. Boom Shadow. Big Tommy Shadow. Why is he not black? Toy Network Shadow, very funny. Jazzwear Shadow, friggin' goat. Sine Shadow. And lastly, this Shadow Backpack freak. <clears throat> oh god. Oh, okay. That was close. I guess next we'll do Amy's and put them in front of the Tails's, I guess. G E Amy, cool. An old, decrepit GE Amy. Disgusting. Tommy Amy, the little one. Well, there is no big one, I don't know why I said. Kelly Toy Amy. Toy Network Amy. Jazzwares Classic Amy. She cute. PMS Classic Amy. She cool. And lastly, your OnlyFans girlfriend that went on sale. Sene Amy. I say that because the factory rejects or whatever came out, and now they don't cost $500 anymore. Fun. They're the Umars. Yerf. Of course, I forgot this stupid Amy is a bootleg Amy, otherwise known as Respucia. So the only bulks left are Eggman and Metal Sonic, and this might just be enough room for them. So, uh, we'll see. Starting with Eggman, we got G. Oh, God! Oh my gosh, bro, you are so fat, I swear on everything. GE Modern Eggman. GE Classic Eggman, who for some reason is bigger than the modern one. I said it should be just enough space, yet these two fat mother frickers have almost taken up the rest of it. Toy Network Eggman. Suction Eggman. 25th Anniversary Eggman. Tommy Eggman, but yes. I forgot this traumatized shadow while doing the shadows, so. <gasps> PMS Eggman. <laughs> I can't look at him the same no more. Eggman Shubani. Sonic the Fighters Eggman, you can tell he fights because he got no gloves on. That's ironic, that makes no freaking sense. And the last of the Eggmans, UFO Eggman. Yosh, yosh, yosh. Oh my gosh, we left like no room for the Metal Sonics. <sighs> we'll see what we can do, but I don't think this is gonna work. This ain't gonna work, bruh. These Metal Sonics are not fitting in that small corner. Attempted uh, pushing the shadows back a little bit, so we'll see how this works. Jazzwares Metal Sonic. Jax Metal Sonic, otherwise known as Dorito Metal. Sonic Boom Metal Sonic. GE Metal Sonic. What are you putting up gang signs for, bro? Another GE Metal Sonic. Another GE Metal Sonic. A bootleg GE Metal Sonic. Another bootleg GE Metal Sonic with a movie Sonic tag. And a suction freaking cup. Ugly freak mutant demon from Sonic Generations, apparently. Crap. Um, uh, Tommy Metal Sonic with the stripe. Another Tommy Metal Sonic with a stripe. And Metal Overlord from the Sonic Plus show. Yeah, he's falling apart because he hasn't been in anything for a while. Fans know who he is. He was a goat villain. People who don't know, they're like, get that trash off that toy. That was torture, but we somehow made it work. All the Metal Sonics are in that small corner. I mean, this one's kind of being drowned. Let me see this. Scoot up a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go, here we go. Yep, now both beds are officially gone. The Sonics have taken the first one, and most of his friends have taken the second one, so the rest of this collection has to continue on the floor. Technically, this shouldn't even be on the list, but for the sake of the thumbnail, already, already said all the other gifts and crap. But, oh, shh, shut my lung, man. Holy shamrock shake, I almost died again. Pain without love, pain. Can't get we need the second blanket to continue this gosh dang collection. This is freaking insane. Up next is Silver. The Hedgehog. I just rest his lighting his booty. He's silver. Another GE Silver. Another GE Silver. And another damaged GE Silver. Why is that one silver on the left a different shade of Sylvester? And Kelly Toy Silver. So that just about does it for the bulk characters. Uh, now if there's like a double, there's probably just gonna be two. But now we're gonna, just gonna do Sonic's friends. So the rest of his friend group. We have Sonic X, GE, Cream the Rabbit, 
the newer release, Cream the Rabbit, which is actually an older release because this is back when they used to give characters their own tags. I miss this a lot. Big the Cat, ho ho. Great Eastern Entertainment. Who's the Bat? Great Eastern Entertainment Omega. Victorious the Crocodile, GE. Another vector because he found the computer room. Espio the Chameleon. One of my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Espio the Chameleon. Again, but old and kind of dirty. Charmy B. There's only one of him because Charmy's Mad Sing. Ray. Jack Specific Mighty the Armadillo. This was also Jack Specific, my fault. Great Eastern Entertainment Mighty. Great Eastern Entertainment Blaze the Cat. We had to find a way to get her next to the Silvers. Great Eastern Entertainment Sage. A customized Great Eastern Entertainment to call. Very freaking beautiful. Guess who did this one? That's right. Gordon. Great Eastern Entertainment Hero Chow. Great Eastern Entertainment Happy Chow Variant or something. Another Great Eastern Entertainment Hero Chow. Great Eastern Entertainment Dark Chow. And another Great Eastern Entertainment Dark Chow. They look cool, Nia Rouge. Probably because that's where they came from. A Tomi Neutral Chow. And another Tomi Neutral Chow. And another Tomi Neutral Chow. Jack Specific Cheese Chow. You should go up here, to be honest. And another Jack Specific Cheese Chow with the bow tie cut off because Neutral Chow Army. And last of the Chows, a gigantic Tomi Dark Chow. Why the heck didn't they make the Hero Chow? This is freaking awesome. Cool. Here we have a singular animal buddy. I'm pretty sure there's more of them, but I can't find them, so... <laughs> For the final batch of Sonic the Hedgehog plushes, we are going to be doing his enemies slash rivals. Let's do this. Great Eastern Entertainment Emerald, which has been customized to have eye highlights by you-know-who. Great Eastern Entertainment Jet the Hawk, original release because his eyes are printed and the new ones are embroidered. Great Eastern Wave the Swallow Mike, she cool. Storm the gigantic fat mother freaking albatross. This is a pretty great plush to be honest. God, your fat body is blocking everybody, bro. Like you are so big for like no reason. GE, please make more plushes this big. This is actually fire. When they make a mega, it better be this big. I'll just say. Great Eastern Entertainment Gamma, which technically isn't an enemy, but in Sonic Adventure 2, there were Gamma minions. So uh, that's why I have another one. <laughs> and that's why I have another one. So <laughs> three Gammas. Sonic Boom Tommy Orbot Plush. Yes, sir. Great Eastern Entertainment Fang the Sniper. Please make Bark and Bean. Great Eastern Entertainment Chaos. One of my favorite characters in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise and one of my favorite plushes GE's ever made. Sorry, I had to say that. And another Great Eastern Entertainment Chaos, which this one is obviously much more new. You can tell. A, um, custom, I guess I'll say fan-made Fang the Sniper plush. A fan-made Bean the Dynamite plush. Very funny. The fact that he comes with a bomb is also pretty awesome. The GE Flicky Motobug Fusion. GE Sonic the Werehog from the second best Sonic game ever created. GE Mephilus the Dark, one of the best GE plushes ever created. <laughs> GE Mephilus the Dark again, but customized to look more broken and crackled like he does by, um, yes. And to finish this very long list of toys, we have a interesting entry. Silver Sonic from the Sonic Plus Show. So he's not very accurate and he's kind of lazily put together, but it was kind of cool at the time, to be honest. Yeah. Well, dang. This is an absolute army. This is insane. Wow. I am genuinely shocked at my own collection. Like, dude, there's no freaking way. I always knew there were a lot, like there was a lot of plushes all together, but seeing them all in one room, in one space, at the same time? Insanity. And my room is so small, I was running out of space to contain these plushes. Like on the last half of like the villains and rivals, I was watching them get closer to me and it was kind of scary. The Mephiluses were looking at me kind of devious. Regardless, this is very cool. As much as I talk about how crazy it is and insane and ridiculous, I am very happy, very grateful, and just thankful, you know, that this is even possible, that I was able to have so many, get so many, and create the shows and videos I do to make you guys happy. And on top of that, nearly all of these plushes I've gotten for good deals. Good deals, lots and gifts. And through that, I was also able to give a lot away to a lot of cool friends, even some fans. It's been awesome. So I want to just take a moment to say thank you, everyone, for watching, for making this possible. Without you guys, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, through your support, I was able to expand the collection and create these videos that you guys love and enjoy. 
And thank you so much to all my friends who have given me gifts over the years. It really means so much to me. And yeah, I wouldn't say look at this video as a flex and rather an opportunity. There was a time period in my life where it was a miracle from Jesus himself to get a $10 Sonic <laughs> from CVS. And now I'm looking in front of me and I see hundreds of Sonics. There was a time period where I had to make one pint of syrup last multiple weekends because we had it that bad. Not to say I'm super wealthy or anything now. I just got really blessed opportunities. That's why I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful of that. When I was a really young kid, I had a very oddly particular dream where I just looked in front of me and there was just a row of all of Sonic's friends as plushes and I just had them. And this was before they even made plushes of these characters. They were just in front of me. And I remember waking up being so sad I didn't have them. And looking at them all just in front of me now, it's like that dream came true, you know? It's possible, even when it seems like it can never happen. So you, my friend watching, if you want a lot of these plushes and you don't have them, hold out hope. It's not impossible. Anything's possible. You can make it happen. You just gotta wait for the opportunity. And when the opportunity presents itself to you, you catch that bad boy. That could be through multiple means. You having enough money. You finding it. Who knows? Maybe I'd give it to you. <laughs> but anyways, that's enough rambling. This has been a very long video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very painful to get done, but kind of wholesome in a way to see everything together. It was fun. I enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys want to see an updated plush collection video with more plushes, let me know. Didn't I do it for you? Take care and have a great rest of your day, friends, fans, and jurians.